are a shield around me, my glory, the one who lifts my head high. I call out to the Lord, and he answers me from his holy mouth. I lie down and sleep. I wake because the Lord sustains me. I will not fear of the ten thousand thousands to sustain me on every side. Arise, Lord, deliver me, my God. Strike all my enemies on the jaw. Break the teeth of the wicked. For the Lord comes deliverance. May your blessing be on your people. Please join me in our opening prayer. O oh God, author of every mercy and of all goodness, who in fasting and prayer has shown us our need for sin, will graciously on this confession of our holiness, that we who are bowed down by our conscience may always be lifted up by your mercy. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God. Surely you don't mean me, Lord. 
Jesus replied, the one who has dipped his hand into the bowl with me will betray me. The Son of Man will go just as it is written about him. But woe to that man who betrays the Son of Man. It would be better for him if he had not been born. Then Judas, the one who would betray him, said, Surely you don't mean me, Rabbi. Jesus answered, You have just said so. While they were eating, Jesus took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take and eat, this is my body. Then he took the cup, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink from it, all of you, this is the blood of the covenant, which is poured out for many for forgiveness of sins. I tell you, I will drink from this fruit of the vine from now on until that day when I drink it new with you in my Father's kingdom. When they had sung a hymn, they went out to the Mount of Olives. Children come forward. Passover. 
Where do you want us to prepare for it? They asked. He replied, As you enter the city, a man carrying a jar of water will meet you. Follow him to the house that he enters. And say to the owner of the house, The teacher asks, Where is the guest room? Where I might eat the Passover with my disciples. He will show you a large room upstairs, all furnished. Make preparations there. They left and found things just as Jesus had told them. So they prepared the Passover. When the hour came, Jesus and his apostles reclined at the table. And he said to them, I have eagerly desired to eat this Passover with you before I suffer. For I tell you, I will not eat it again until it finds fulfillment in the kingdom of God. After taking the cup, he gave thanks and said, Take this and divide it among you. For I tell you, I will not drink again from the fruit of the vine until the kingdom of God comes. And he took bread, gave thanks, and broke it, and gave it to them, saying, This is my body given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after the supper, he took the cup, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood, which is poured out for you.
two foul balls that were hit that Aaron missed catching. I had to look that up. I did not remember his strong hit to right field that he had a single but should have been a double probably or that he grounded out to second base. I didn't remember these things. But these are what the newspapers concentrated on when reporting the story. I was at the same game. But my perspective was different than that of the reporters. I was enjoying Cole's happiness. I was enjoying the satisfaction he was getting out of being at a game that A-Rod was at. The big leader. The superstar. You're probably wondering why our two readings today are both of the Last Supper. There are actually three accounts of the Last Supper. Matthew 26, Mark 14, and Luke 22. Now the Matthew and Mark accounts are essentially completely identical. So is the Luke, with one minor exception. In Luke, there is no mention of the interaction between Jesus and Judas. Does this make one more right over the other? No, I don't think so. I challenge those of you that can remember 40 years ago, if you could tell me a story from a dinner party that you were at who was in it, that everyone else who was in attendance will tell the exact same story. You probably could not, unless you had your real, real camera going. I would challenge this even from a year ago. People that were at the same party would probably not remember the events of that party the same way. Even with a recording, how many of you have watched that recording back and said, oh, when did that happen? I don't remember that. The Last Supper accounts were written down 40 to 70 years after the event occurred. Prior to the, that, these stories were shared verbally. There was time to reflect. There was also time to get other accounts of the story. Also keep in mind what the followers of Jesus were going through in their lives following this time period. They were hiding to stay alive. They were getting the teachings of Jesus out however and to whomever they could to anyone that would listen until they caught on. It was then that they thought about making a written record accounting of these stories. What we need to do is live our lives the best that we can, keeping in mind the teachings of Jesus Christ, remembering the sacrifice he made for us. Use 2020 hindsight to educate and guide us in our future actions. Also remembering that when someone else provides us feedback on a particular action, that they have a different perspective and that we can also learn from this perspective. Amen.